we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Come on, come on, come on. Just get on in here. Get on in here. Get on in here. I'm cooking. Get on in here. Get on in here, because I got something to tell you. I ain't going to repeat what I got to say. No more. Okay. Okay. So, you see my rag on my head? Because I'm in the comfort of my own home. So, you know, I did a video with my dogs yesterday. And everybody keeps thinking I'm on Trumpster side. No, I'm not. I'm not freaking voting for no maniac. And stop taking the video as I'm saying that. I mean, come on now. You know, I, 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 I was born in 1963, okay? So, on my birth certificate, it's, it's calling me a Negro. Yes, that's on my birth certificate. It's Negro. So, you think I would vote for a person that's trying to take us back? Are you serious? Come on, y'all. And then someone would take a group of people and say that they're eating dogs and cats. The only thing I was making fun of is Trump crazy dumbass. Okay, and since we on here, let me go in some more. So do you all not know that Trump has um, bad propanes? And remember they was talking about a little while ago about his scent, his smell? Because he pisses on himself. He wears men to pants, y'all. I got it straight from a source, okay? Can't tell you where I got it from, but that's how I know everybody did. <laughs> Who? Hi, Dorinda! Yay! It's Super Sunday, and Mama D is cooking in the palace. Yes, I'm gonna turn the phone over like that. Look, look. Ooh. Look, y'all, look at the little greens. Ooh. And then some yams. Ooh. Yeah, see, I got better things to do. I got a hungry husband. And uh, anywho, anyhow, so I came on here to let y'all know I shouldn't have to defend myself, but I would never vote for a person that is prejudiced, that has ruined, you know, the two um, election workers the other year, um, Giovanni in New York, he had made a lie about them, had people making um, threats against those two black women lies. Why would I? They don't even sound like Mama D, okay? So don't do that. And yes, I got a rag on my head, honey, because I'm at home. And I'm supposed to be able to relax and be about, uh... oh, okay. And, you know, so I first thought I can't come on and, and, and just explain to y'all, I would never, you couldn't pay me, you understand me, to vote for that man. He crazy. He crazy. And all I was doing was making fun, but they're eating the dogs. And they're eating the cats because I'm coming from a place where you see how Kamala was talking to him and he just went left on her. He just went left. Of course, he always go left. He's never explained anything. He's never answered nothing, but he'll come and make a statement. But those statements you make, let it be in a debate. Just you immediately go to attacking Kamala. Don't do that. But he did it. So... I'm just really laughing and mocking him because of his stupidity. Do you understand? He's not educated. And let me tell you something else y'all don't know. When they're in the meetings with Trump, when he was president, they have to draw pictures to explain to him <laughs> to get things over to this man. So the man really ain't... <clears throat> so don't think Mama D would do that. Mama D, nah. Yeah, so, you know, I would never vote for a person that would turn around and treat my kind, yeah, my kind, in, in a way, because I remember what my grandmother and my great-great-grandmother told me what happened to them. Mm -hmm. And my husband, Ernest's grandmother, she's passed, and guess what she told me? She told me they used to be in the shed, um, and that the... the the slave owners used to come and open and knock at their, their cabins, you know, um, 
the houses they lived in and tell them to send their sons out in the field so they can get on their horses and go capture the sons and maybe beat them or maybe possibly hang them. So that for me to hear her tell me that story and the mothers would be crying, hoping that their sons made it back to them. Girls, 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 please, by all means, don't come for Mama D. Because Mama D may be a lot of things, but I'm not stupid. And just so I would never vote for Trump. Uh, you know, I wouldn't do my miss like that. I don't like it. I don't like what he stands for. I don't like that he's put to say things about the Haitian community. That is just so awful. That is just pure awful, um, what he has done. And uh, I don't know, you know, y'all just gotta be mindful. And remember I told y'all uh, with him and Governor Kemp, the governor of Georgia, uh, when Trump was president, um, how you know how they separated the, the Mexican women and the men and the kids. And they took those women, brought them to a small town in Georgia. Do you, are you listening to me? And so the Mexican women could not understand English, nor could they understand the English words, okay? So they had them draw an X on the dotted line, put a needle in those Mexican women on, and y'all, when they woke up, all the Mexican women were sterile. Yep. Our governor, Brian Kemp, and Trumpster, okay? Now go back and tell him I said it, Trumpster, like a damn hamster. You know, it's what he fucking looked like. So, uh, Mama D, by means, no means, will ever vote for someone that would try to hurt my kind or to set us back or take us back. Because you know what? We've come too far to turn back now. I'm going to exit uh, live IG. I love you guys. Continue to have a blessed day. Uh, my birthday is coming up this Saturday, coming on September 21st, Virgo season. And um, I represent, and so we gonna party. If it's anybody wanna book Mama D, you know, I brings the people out. Let's go, let's party, let's have a good time. Who? Yeah, and also my grandson Breland. Yeah, Bambi's son. He was born on my birthday. Carlisa yeah. said she's coming to see you next week. Carlisa. Carlisa. Who? Carlisa. Okay, come on, Carlisa. Uh, however I pronounced it. Come on, see Mama D, honey. I know. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I don't grandbabies, girl. I saw you, uh, Carly. I think you were in the car with your grandbabies. See, that's what real grandmamas do. Y'all see us on TV, but we actually about our families. We about our kids and our grandkids, okay? Uh, there's a lot going on in the palace. Keep watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. All will be revealed. You're watching part A. We're now filming part B. We've been filming part B. Uh, for two months now, and what you're seeing now, and let's just say you're gonna need a whole roll of toilet paper and some thigh high boots because shit gonna get deep and hard to be, okay? Honey, I don't know why people come for the palace, but they try it this season, but it's okay because Mama D got their asses. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah uh huh, I got their asses. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm bored numb to come out of my kids and grandkids. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned. Happy Sunday to you all. May your families be best, blessed. May your wounds, your kids, your grandkids, your aunties, your aunts, your great aunts and uncles, your mama, just everybody be blessed.